take a look at all the materials that are needed by Siege Win, which will include her ascension, talents, materials needed by her signature weapon as well as the costs and best ways to obtain them. Starting off with the ascension, these are what you need to get her from level 1 to level 90. Now as to how you can obtain these are, the gemstones can be farmed by defeating bosses who wield the hydro element, or by converting it from other gemstones at the alchemy table. The best routes for farming the local specialty are as the following. As for the mob drops you can just obtain them by defeating all types of underwater mobs and for easy farming you can just open your handbook and track them down. Now finally looking at the boss drops, you can obtain the boss materials by defeating this silly creature over here. Talking about the costs of her ascension it's going to be 2.1 million mora as well as need 421 purple XP books. Now moving on to her talents, these are the materials that you'll need to triple crown her. Now as to how you can obtain these items, the books can be farmed right over here, on Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. As for the mob drops you can just obtain them by defeating all types of underwater mobs and for easy farming you can just open your handbook and track them down. As for the boss drops, it's a weekly boss whose domain is right over here and if in case you do not have this domain over here, then you must do the Fontaine Archon quest to unlock this domain. Along with these items you also need 5.2 million mora as well as 3 crown of insights to get all 3 of her talents from level 1 to level 10. Now for those of you who are going to be pulling for Siege Wind's signature weapon, before checking out its material requirements, let's take a look at the weapon itself. It's going to be a bow called Pouring Heartstrings, the substats of the weapon is going to be HP percentage, and the passive is something like, when equipping character gains a stack of blessing, the character's max HP will increase, as well as their elemental bursts crit damage will increase as well, and you can gain these stacks by using your elemental skill, by receiving a bond of life, or by performing heals and you can have up to 3 stacks at once. We won't go into details about the values right now, but I'll talk about it when I make a video about her kit after everything is finalized. Now moving to the materials needed by her weapon, it's as the following. Now as to how to obtain these items, you can get the sacred dewdrops here in this domain on Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. You can obtain the weapon materials called fins, from this enemy called Shamun Beast. To track them down just open your handbook and start tracking them for easy farming. As for the Transoceanic Pro you can just farm them by defeating underwater mobs, and for easy farming track them down through the handbook as well. Talking about the costs of leveling up her signature weapon, it's going to be 1.2 million mora as well as 921 mystic ores. And if you want to know the grand total cost of leveling her up, it's around 8.5 million mora. That's gonna be everything you need to farm for our Miss Nurse.